uh, I received uh, I received a question from a member here. Uh, it's about creating the um, similar uh, fellow calculation that uh, that has been done in CFC. The, um, this member asked me to perform them to program similar application in TI portal. So uh, I prepared the layout for this uh, program. The program will be developed in SCL and the programming language uh, is SCL. And I will do this uh, in TI version 16, the newer version. I, def I will define the reset signal and the pulse signal and the totalizer value. The totalizer is uh, stored in MD100. And uh, if I push reset, uh, the value will be zero here. And uh, reset is prior. Reset is prior. And then I uh, receive the pulse signal, only five units should be added to the um, total value. You can change this in, in the program. And, uh, that's all. Uh, that's all we need to, to do the programming. First, I need to add the addresses and sim symbols. You can take any address. Uh, because um, I don't have access to actual CPU. I use uh, memories, but if you want to use this application for actual hardware, you can assign uh, physical addresses. So I use M two hundred zero for reset. Let's say reset. I need a memory for pulse. I need a uh, internal memory. Two internal memory for uh, positive edge detection and uh, the value, the totalizer value, MD one hundred, for example. And this is in real format. And uh, it's the totalizer. Totalizer. So, uh, symbol table is finished. Let's uh, start programming in OB1. The first part of the program should be the reset behavior. I get um, uh, if reset <laughs> uh, first let me um, define the, the jump labels so if uh, the reset signal is active, uh, this part, this part of program is um, executed. Mm, if we have a reset uh, signal, we need to transfer zero to M transfer to MD100 that is the total laser value and uh, here we need to jump jump to end section to avoid
uh, I use jump unconditional to the end label. If we didn't receive a uh, reset, we jump to this part. So this is the normal calculation. calculation. In the normal calculation, we need to uh, test if uh, we receive a pulse. Mm, I think it's appropriate to check if reset is not, it's not necessary, but uh, uh, it's not harmful to keep it here. But you can, uh, it's not necessary actually. And uh, you need a positive edge. the result in memory two. Positive edge for one cycle signal cycle pulse. So in case of uh, pause. Uh, we don't know the duration of the pause. It's coming from the, the sensor. It may uh, maybe one second, ten second, have any possibility. But uh, for adding five units to the the total zero value, we only need uh, one cycle signal. So for Perform performing addition here. If we have a short pulse, if we have the short pulse. We, if you have the short pulse, we can add five units to to a totalizer and add it by this command: transfer md one hundred d one hundred. And if there is no pulse, we jump to this point. Ah, it's fair. Here, uh, it's not necessary to jump because. There's nothing uh, to jump. There, there's no extra code here. Mm, I think it's all we need. It's better to save and compile. Compile and uh, a function test by using the simulating module in tier portal for SM 1500 run the CPU. It's better to test uh, the whole um, scenario in a watch table. We have, um, but we can type by name, uh, we have reset, pulse, reset pulse and uh, the totalizer.
the initial value the initial values are zero so I apply the first pulse the reset signal and you see that there's, there's still the total the value is zero I apply the pulse and see what's happening and uh, we can see the incrementation uh, but pressing but pressing control uh, let's see exactly but pressing control f2 you can do this uh, a bit faster f2 f3 so you can see that the value is adding and uh, we press it press reset everything is reset to initial value that's zero and reset is prior uh, we, we cannot add value when reset is active mm. that's it I hope you enjoy uh, this simple steel program and it helps you